on the hugely popular TV show Dawson's Creek, I believe is the name. Creek, that's it, Jack. Um, the WB Network. He also has a new film called Varsity Blues, which opens nationwide January 15th. Please welcome James Vanderbeek. <laughs> Let me be the first to apologize. Uh, first of all, yes? I'm not on Melrose Place. Oh, it's not Melrose, of course. And it's not Dawson's Crack. It's not Dawson's Crack, I, apparently. It's Dawson's Creek. Now, is it Creek or Crick? Because if you're from the South, it's Dawson's it's, Creek. It's Creek. It's so Creek. The show takes place in Boston, but we film in Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, okay. With well, the they, best crew in the world. There, there we go. Okay, so it's Dawson's Creek. So I'm sorry about that embarrassing mistake. So let me ask you about this. Now, look at this. You're one of the 50 most beautiful yes. people. Hey, you ask you, let me ask you a question now. <laughs> you, did they tell you what number you are? I think I was hovering around the, like, the high 30s. Ooh, so there are... I guess they're like you're 28 in the lower more end beautiful of the 50. people than me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have to get some work done. You want to move I, up that way. <laughs> now, what is that like? Now, is that... I mean, is it, do you have fun with it? Is it... I mean... Oh, it's absolutely... It's so silly. I mean, yeah. like, my college buddies would call me the next day. Do you're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear from, like, girls you knew in high school? Is that cool? Yeah, it is. I mean, old girlfriends have, you know, given me a call. I'm so proud of you. Yeah? It's great. I'm not calling just because you're on TV or anything. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, if I was working at McDonald's, she would have given me a call. <laughs> well, that's right. Not that's anything about, bad about working at McDonald's. Now, would you, would you, has anyone, like, a girl ever, like, dumped you? Found out and called you back. Oh yeah, you? absolutely. Oh no, see that's the best. That's, that's, it it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny because we had an episode of Dawson's Creek where you know the breakup was almost identical. <laughs> so it's like yeah, watch episode two. You know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, now where are you from? Where did you grow up? Grew up in Cheshire, Connecticut. Okay, oh I know that is. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. Now that that's an interesting. It's Vanderbeek. Was that Dutch? Dutch name. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad you didn't change your name. You know, it's like a yeah, good... it's funny. I mean, everybody, of course, you know, at auditions that it was James Vander something. You get they, they never could. I mean, it's pretty easy, Van Der Beek. Although Columbia TriStar actually sent me a gift addressed to James Van Der Horn. James Van Der Horn? Which is pretty sc scary considering they're the people who signed my checks. Oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Unless they somebody produced it's really the scary show. somebody else is getting your dough. And then, yeah. <laughs> now, I, and for, let's, I imagine that's a good name to tease in school. Hey, well, Van Der, Beek. Van Der Geek was about the most Van Der creative. Van Geek? Yeah. yeah. No, that was, yeah, that's yeah. not real creative. Yeah. Were you a good student? Yes, I was, actually. A very good student. I was, um, I was actually junior class president. Wow, um, that's pretty good. When I was a, and then I actually got a, an off-Broadway play with Edward Albee and had to go for rehearsals to that, and then I was impeached. You were impeached? Mm -hmm. Well, this is historic. So Andrew Johnson, <laughs> President Clinton, and you. Wait, and I never heard of anybody getting impeached from high school. I, I, I get, well... Was there a trial? I, I, yeah, it happened behind my back. They wow. just, I, I was gone, I was rehearsing, I was off-Broadway, and I came back and they said, Sarah DeMille is now the, the president. Wow. So I, I had, but I still had to go to the meetings because I was still on the student council. So. Oh, now, did your, did your vice president take the job? Yes, she did. Oh, yeah. wow. So this is like some bad Caesar. It's like a <laughs> food day. You're doing a play and wham. And wham, I know. Hey, well, actually, she, she's really good. She's one of my best friends. Yeah. So. yeah. Actually, my only That's worse than your best friend. friend. So. Yeah. Now, let me say something. I, I, I'm reading something about Dawson Creek. Now, there's a skinny dipping episode. Right. And I'm supposed to ask you about this because one of the girls wanted to know if you guys really went skinny dipping in the skinny dipping episode. It was actually quite romantic. We had these neoprene suits, um, which, of course, they didn't get just, you know, from the waist down. They actually had full you know, torsos on them. And so in order to keep the suits down and keep them from floating up, we actually had to tie the arms in a big knot underneath our crotch, which was... <laughs> Look, I don't know what you told the cops. What I'm, is, what I'm asking is... What I'm asking... Wait a minute, wait. Well, I don't, wait, I don't understand. You're wearing a suit... With your hand, like, you're tied like... No, it's, it's, it's a full body suit, so yeah. instead of, you know, instead of just from the waist, of course, you know, our, from the waist up, we were actually shown. Right. So we had to unzip the suit and then take the, you know, pull the arms out. Oh, I see. And in order to keep, you know, the suit from floating up, we had to tie it under... Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, now yeah. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now quite, you quite, quite remember. I thought the writers in L.A. kind of forget that it gets cold. Yeah, that's December. right. The show is written out here yeah. in Wilmington. So they're like, we've got a great skinny dipping scene for you. It's like, it's December. It's freezing. Yeah. And there's nothing worse for a guy than so, skinny dipping in cold. In cold. <laughs> it's not bad if you're with other guys, but yeah, then it's really bad. Well, I don't usually skinny dip with other guys. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> See, that's the difference between us right there. That's <laughs> Those are the only people I can get to go skinny dipping with me and other guys. It's me and the band and, you know, the guys. Me and Kev, Bob Hurley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was great. Remember that, Kev? Oh, man, Stuart. Back, back to 
night they got the job right after that. <laughs> now, let me ask you, now, you... You know, it must be tough. You play 15 years old. Yes, now, you I don't... Do. I mean, you don't look in person at all. I mean, you look like you're in your 20s. 20, 20, oh, you yeah. Can I ask you how 21? 21. Oh, okay. So... 21 years old. I shave twice a day. Oh, you have to shave twice a day? To I do. Kind of... Sometimes three. On the, on the really long 18-hour days, sometimes it'll be three. They'll come in with the razor and, and, and touch me up on set. I pitch my voice up a little bit. And... Now, is it weird? Like, now, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, she's not 15. No, she's not. She told, okay. me, she told me she was over 18. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be odd, playing just six or seven years younger, because you... Is the point of reference really much different? I guess it's, it is. I huh? mean, I think everybody remembers, you know, that high school dancer that got dumped. I mean, I know I certainly do. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I was such a dork in high school anyway, so that it's, the experience still kind of lives with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And you're doing, you're doing Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah. When is that? That's uh, next Saturday. Oh, okay. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, I'm a little scared. But, yeah, is that a little uh, scared? I'm really, really excited, yeah. No, well, that's great. Everybody tells me it's such a great experience, and it's It is it's a lot of fun, time, and it's live, so, so you, if you make yeah. a mistake, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure there's no skinny that's, dipping that's on that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, listen, it's nice to finally meet you, and congratulations nice you. on all your success. And Varsity Blues is a new film. It's out January 15th. James Vanderbeek, be right back with Brian McKnight. Right